question when asking the first question. Craig Gabriel. Oscar Nine Radio Australia. What about um, what was the experience like being on the centre court playing that semi final? What what will you what memories will you take away? Yeah, I mean, obviously playing in front of this amazing crowd is is such a pleasure and then joy to play, especially playing semi final, playing super big match. So, so I mean, I was so super happy to to be experiencing that. Vanny. Hello, uh, Vanny Gibertini, Radio Sportiva Italy. Uh, can you tell us uh, about how you think uh, Matteo played compared to how you think he would play this match? I mean, Matteo played played unbelievable match today. Huge congrats to him. I I mean, he had uh, every single service game. He was he was serving bombs. I, I didn't have. Uh, many chances basically probably probably zero so i mean huge congrats for him to that he kept like such a such a high level throughout the the whole four sets so so i mean he played played really well matthias yes hi matthias uh karen with ap uh, just wondering, there was that stretch from, I think, 3-2 in the first set where I think he won something like 11 straight games. Uh, what was going wrong there for you? What were you struggling with? And, and how did you manage to turn that around to, to make a match of it after that? Yeah, I mean, Matteo was, was playing really, really well. I mean, uh, he's putting a lot of pressure on me. My, my serve really, the, the, the first serve really wasn't working and, and helping me, which which usually does and, and gets me out of trouble. So, so I was I was struggling with with that, and plus he was he was putting a lot of pressure on me, and he was he was playing really amazing without doing any unforced errors. So, so yeah, I mean, I wasn't playing great at that time, but he he was putting a lot of pressure, and then the the first serve wasn't helping me there, and. I mean, I was I was trying to to stay competitive and and uh, try to to fight for every single point, especially at the beginning of the of the third set to to try to make a comeback. Yes. Stuart Fraser. Uh, Hubert, I just wanted to check with you. Obviously, it can be a lot, you know, of emotions getting to your first Grand Slam semi final. Um, I just wondered, looking forward, and with the decision yesterday in Tokyo not to have any spectators at the uh, Olympic uh, venues, um, do you think you will still go to Tokyo, and how will you deal with the transition between here and then if you do go? Yeah, I did and uh, hear about it. So, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> you're the first person t- telling me that that there's no crowd. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm super happy to to be representing my country in the in the Olympics and I'm looking forward to it obviously obviously the crowds uh, the experience that I had here with with this unbelievable people supporting training for us that's 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 special for for players Willie Weinbaum hi uh, I got in on this late so if you've been asked this already I apologize uh, how would you describe the way Matteo played today and your thoughts on his potential uh, matchups, either against Djokovic or Shapovalov in the final? Yeah, I mean, Matteo, Matteo played, played really great. I mean, he served bombs. He, he really didn't do, do many mistakes throughout the, the whole four sets. So, I mean... Huge, huge congrats for him, and uh, and I mean, wish him, wish him. I mean, if he continue to play like this, uh, play play like this, he has uh, really big chances in the in the final. Uh, 